This is Shanti from Shanti TV. Welcome back, you guys. Today I have an unexpected unboxing from Louis Vuitton for you that we can do together. I had this item on my wish list. I actually contacted Louis Vuitton and I'm going to read to you what they told me about this particular item. Um, in December, I had contacted Louis Vuitton to find out what was going on with the Juliet wallet and they sent me an email on the 1st of January saying, we regret to inform you the Juliet wallet is unavailable on, on and online. I'm sorry. We regret to inform you the Juliet wallet is unavailable online and in our Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton store locations. As this item was part of the seasonal collection and is limited, we are unable to guarantee if this item will become available again in the future. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. And then they go on to say basically um, that, you know, uh, the Juliet wallet isn't available and they're suggesting the card holder Rectoverso instead, which, which is fine. I mean, they're trying to make a sale, which is what they should do. Um, so I hung tight. Now on Louis Vuitton's website, you can hit notify me if something comes back um, into stock or is available to order again. So that's exactly what I did. And then on January 16th, I received an email saying, we're happy to inform you that the item you liked is back in stock. So, okay, I'm like, well, the information I got before is that it was limited. It was limited, it was a part of a seasonal collection, which quite frankly, I actually, I have no clue if that was part of a seasonal collection. I'm not sure how I can find that out. Maybe I need to ask my essay if it was a seasonal collection, but anyway, it was place in cart. Went online, place in cart. And what did I do? I placed in cart. So um, it's kind of interesting. Um, I did not, you know, place this order obviously through my essay since I was, it wasn't available <laughs> basically. So I ordered it and I actually waited for probably about two weeks before they even shipped the item. So I think what's been going on, and I don't know if they're smart, they would do this. Like anytime a customer is hitting notify, right? They should be keeping track of that so that they understand what the demand for that particular item is. You would think they would be doing this and that they could figure out, okay, I have X number of people that are interested in this item. Maybe I should do a manufacturing run on this item. Whoever I'm getting my information from, the person that responded to me, they, they basically did not think it was gonna become available anytime soon. So I'm not sure if that's Louis Vuitton not telling their uh, client services that, that this is gonna come back online. I don't know if the person wasn't trained to know where to look. I'm not really sure, but I found it very interesting that like basically 15, 16 days later, I get an email saying, hey, it's in stock. Okay, and as of this morning, it is also placed in cart. So maybe all of the people that said, notify me, notify me, actually didn't order. I mean, sometimes that, that happens, right? Especially when you want to capture like people's initial instinct to buy something. Cause once they're like, it's not available, it's, it's not available and they may move on to something else. So anyway, as of today, it is place in cart. So let's do this unboxing together. I think many of you have seen these unboxings, but if you haven't, this might be, you know, an experience for you. So when you open the box, I found this to be so, so cute, okay? So the box is adorable. So they have Louis Vuitton on the outside. I have all my paperwork here. And then this box has an insert for the actual box that it came in. Really, really cute. I like it. 
envelope. So let's talk about all the little things that come in this envelope. So you have paperwork that basically explains to you how to do an exchange and how to do a return. You basically have 30 days um, exchange or return and it has to be an original packaging. You can't use the item. It has to be in perfect um, condition, original packaging, original invoice, leaflets and certificates. They want everything. So make sure you keep all your stuff together if you're just like not sure. The next thing that came is an actual um, label if you want to return it. So they actually send you a return label just in case you want to return it, which is a nice deal. They then send you a gift receipt, and I know it's really bright so you can't really see it, but they send you a gift receipt. The item code for this is M69432. So it's nice if you want to give someone a gift, that's really nice. And then you get this little card here. Um, which is basically a thank you card from Louis Vuitton. Thank you for shopping with Louis Vuitton. Your product has been crafted by experienced artisans with exclusive materials and then packed with the utmost care following strict sanitary guidelines. Please prevent any contact with oil or alcohol-based substances such as cosmetics, perfume, hand sanitizer, or disinfectants as they can damage leather and canvas products. And then it says, find our complete care instructions on louisvuitton.com and they give you the actual um, address for where you can find product care information. So when you order from Louis Vuitton, they basically send it to you as if you are buying a gift for someone, like already pre-packed that way. So inside this little deal comes this little tiny cute envelope and inside of it, you have a, a blank card so you can you know, write a little note if you were giving a gift to someone. So that is really cute. So that comes inside here. Very cute. Okay, so we have a draw box. And inside the draw box, you have the dust bag. And inside the dust bag, you have Ms. Juliet wallet. So I would say from Louis Vuitton, one of my favorite items, honestly, if it wasn't for bags, like honestly, I think they're small leather goods are really good, really, really good. Um, I've looked at other small leather goods from other, um, from other fashion houses and I always come back to Louis Vuitton small leather goods. I just think they do a really good job with wallets. I, I just do, I love it. So here's the Juliet wallet, here's what it looks like. It has this beautiful gold tone clasp, button clasp here with black leather. And then it has gold hardware here. So if I open this up, you have a place to put cards there. And this particular one is made in Italy. You have four credit card slots here a place for cards here. You do not have anything here. And then you have a zip compartment here, which is gusseted on the side, like the zippy compact. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. And then you have a spot for cash. So the wallet that I have been using is my Zippy Compact. It's probably my favorite hands-down wallet that I have. Um, I have 
three different size wallets in my collection. So I currently have the Clemence wallet. I have the old school Zippy compact wallet. And then I have the Zippy coin purse in this beautiful vernie color. I use this in most of my small bags. So I currently have cash in here that I have folded and I wanted to get something that was compact that I didn't have to fold my cash in and I wanted to find something that I could get cards potentially from the outside. So this was my choice. Now, if you look at the size of the Zippy coin versus the Juliet, you can already see that it's bigger. <laughs> it's not as compact as um, the Zippy coin purse. It's not as compact. The other thing that I noticed is look at this hardware and look at this hardware. I would say this hardware is probably more expensive than this hardware. Now obviously this has, you know, hardware here. It has a leather tab here. So definitely there's probably more work that goes into making this and it has this outside pocket here. So yeah, there's, there's definitely more work that goes into here, but this is one of the most expensive compact wallets that they have out there. It's kind of uh, amazing. Let's do this together. I am a little bit on the fence about this and the other thing I noticed is there's another wallet that is very similar to this one called the Lou wallet, L-O-U, and it does come in reverse. I don't have anything in reverse and I really wanted something to match my um, Pochette Matisse in reverse. Uh, and I, yeah, I just wanted to add something that was a little bit more matchy-matchy. I'm not usually matchy-matchy, but this, time around, I'm a little bit matchy-matchy. Um, but let's do this, let's do this together and let's see how many cards I can get in here versus here. And then I also wanna see how this fits in my smaller purses versus this. Obviously this is gonna take up more room. So I'm a little bit disappointed about that, but let's see. So I went off camera so I can stuff this thing. So what I did was I put Five cards back here. There's two slots there. I put five cards here. I just keep my driver's license in the middle. I put five cards here, two there, and then five cards back here. So that's five, 10, 15, 20, 24, 25. I've got 25 cards in here. I'm going to try to close this. Okay, it's tight. <laughs> I would not put 25 cards in here. I could probably put 20 in here without anything, but I would say this is a little tight and I wouldn't do that. I'm gonna take five out and see what happens. That's much easier. So 20 cards in here, no problem. So I'm going to see if I can fit 20 cards in the Juliet wallet and let's see what happens. Okay, so I did all of my stuffing offline so you wouldn't have to wait for me. I've got one card here. I've got four cards here, so that's five. Got my cash in here. And then I went ahead and put 20 cards in here. So remember, my zippy coin purse, I could fit 25, but comfortably I could really fit 20. I wouldn't put 25 in there, it was really pushing it. I went ahead and stuffed 20 cards in here. So all together we're talking about 25 cards plus some cash. I'm going to try and zip this and see what happens. 
I have had absolutely no issues zipping that up. None whatsoever. It, there was nothing, like not even a, yeah, wow, okay. Like I'm opening this, there's no weirdness going on. There's nothing. That's pretty darn good, I would say. It's heavy. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff in there, but okay, that was impressive. I'll give you that. I'll give you that, Louie. So the next thing I want to do is just compare and take some of my smaller bags that I have and see if this thing can fit. Let's do that next. Okay, here's my Felicie Pochette in vernis. It's beautiful. My zippy coin, let's see if it fits. Okay, it fits in here with no issues. I wouldn't put this in here because it takes up too much room, but it does fit if anybody wanted to know. Now remember, I have this guy and it's like stuffed to the brim. And, okay, it fits, but it's bulging. And because, oh mm, yeah, no, it's not gonna close. Yeah, because of that, um, because of the clip or because of the button in the front, it also doesn't lay flat in here. In here, you have to kind of be very conservative for room. Here's my cute little Alma BB. I haven't worn this in a while. I don't know why, she's adorable. Obviously, I have room in here, so. No problem, plenty of room. Room to spare, not an issue at all. Look at those two colors together. Put that in there, no issues. Here's my Ava, zippy coin, no issues. Juliet, fits. With room to spare. Much bigger wallet, but it fits. Pochette accessoire. Zippy coin, no issues. Juliet, no issues. This little bag, I know, it's so pricey these days, but dang. It is so good, and it's good for a good reason. It's just so good. This one is good. Odeon. Zippy coin. No issues in the front pocket. Juliet. Fits. I'm not gonna be closing it though. It's gonna stay open. Mm, little too thick. All right guys, so that is really all I have for today. I am pleasantly surprised by Ms. Juliet. Um, I'm glad I did what I did because I really wasn't sure that it would carry the amount of cards that I wanted and that's really, what I was looking for. So the truth is, it does carry more cards than this zippy coin. Um, and I carry a lot of cards around, unfortunately, um, for various reasons. I've got rewards, I've got points, I've got uh, different credit cards, I've got my driver's license, I carry around stuff for uh, Priya and my mom, and I just, I have a lot of <laughs> needs to carry a lot of cards. So. Uh, this is actually surprising, surprising, it's surprising. So I think I was on the fence about it in the beginning of, the, of this video. I would say I'm crossing the fence over to keeping this, this wallet. Um, I am still curious about the Lou wallet, which is about 
I don't know, I think it's more than $100 less than this wallet. It doesn't have this on it and it's shorter or it's, I think the width is smaller than this guy. But it's very, very similar. It has the button, it has a button snap and then it also has this gusseted um, card. And what I'm finding is that this is giving me a lot more room than I actually thought. Remember, I put 20 cards back here. Like that's insane and I'm able to close it with no issues. I wish Louis Vuitton had put a nicer zipper on this guy. I guess it would have made it a little heavier, but I feel like on my zippy coin, I've got this beautiful uh, zipper on it, and I wish they had done kind of the same thing here, but I, you don't rarely see this kind of a zipper anymore, um, which is unfortunate, because I really do like it. Um, so what do you guys think? Should I keep? Should I return? I was looking for a compact wallet that would hold more cards and would hold cash. That was really what I was looking for. And I didn't want another longer wallet. I wanted something that was still compact. So anyway, I think this fits the bill. Uh, I may or may not look at the Lou wallet. We'll see what happens. But anyway, that is all I have to talk about today. So I hope you've enjoyed my video. If you like these kinds of videos, please give it a thumbs up that helps you to pick up whatever algorithm they've got going on and it it helps my channel grow which is what I'd like to do so and if you are not a subscriber please consider subscribing for those that are returning thank you very much for returning and I will see you next week ciao